Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bold Live. I'm your host, Casey Kasperzik, supervising producer for The Bold and the Beautiful, and your host for the next hour here on Bold Live. Good to see all of you coming in. I'm flying a little blind today because I am um, not in my normal studio at The Bold and the Beautiful. I am on the road, as you will. Um, I'm on location, bold live on the road at my high school in San Bernardino, California. I'll explain that a little bit more as we go on, but um, I'm excited to be here. And we've got Jacqueline McKinnis Wood, who's had just an awesome week on air. So I look forward to talking to all of you real soon as we start bold live in three, two, one. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Bold Live. How are you all doing? Good to see you all. Hi, Brandon, Kenneth, Ronald. Uh, I don't have my laptop on, uh, so I'll tell that to moderated David. Um, I I don't see the chats. Or, I mean, I see the chats here, but I don't have our chat, uh, but I'm here. And you're probably wondering, well, where was I last week? Um, good question. Um, I was um, not feeling good. Uh, I could, did, had no voice. Um, I had what they call cold. I had a, remember when we used to get colds? Remember that? Yeah, it's been a while. Hey, everybody. Thank you all for saying hello. Um, yeah, I had a cold and then I uh, had laryngitis. Um, I'm getting my voice back, but I wasn't going to miss two bold lives in a row. Um, so here we are. And I've got, I uh, got my coffee, got my coffee. I also actually... I don't have my Bold Live mug, but I have a new mug. Take a look. It says, Casey's After Party. This mug was given to me by my sister-in-law, Paula. Hello, Paula, if you're watching. Um, she gave me this mug, and um, this is for the after party, which we do on our, uh, well, we do on our, on my Instagram after the show. Thank you, everybody. Yes, I know. It was not COVID. I got tested, and uh, I'm fine. It's it's a cold. Remember? We used to get colds. So, um I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. How are all you guys doing? You guys all hanging in there? Yeah, it is a nice mug. Um, so I'm, I, I was waiting for my special guest. I'm a little bit late getting set up. I'm in San Bernardino, California at my high school, which is Aquinas High School. It's where I went to high school from uh, 1993 to 1997. And um, uh, I am now I'm back here and I'm just trying to get our guests on. But we're going to try. Oh, there we go. So, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, let's just get this party started. Okay. I know you've all, we're, we're running behind and I don't want to be behind any longer. So, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Steffi Forster, Jacqueline McKinnis Wood. Hey. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Can you hear me? I, loud and clear. Can you hear me? Oh, my mic dog. She's right here. So. If you hear barking or whining, it's it's the doggy. I have not seen her for a long time. I know. I what? know. The sweetest dog on the planet. <laughs> she is. Um, so she's just sleeping beside me. Hi, everyone. Nice to be chatting with you all again. When we announced you were coming on, people were super excited. I mean, you nobody brightens people's day more than you, Jackie. Oh, Casey, that's so sweet. And I don't know if you want... I know you're super busy because, well, you're expecting your third child any day, but, uh -huh. um, the air shows this week were amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I remember the last time we were on here and that's when I just, I think we just filmed that or I just found out, Oh no. The last time I was on here with you is when we just found out what was happening. Kind of, you kind know? of, um, yeah, kind of. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I knew it was going to be big, but did you expect this this reaction? I yes, I expected this reaction because I reacted the exact same way. I I, I know hearing what was going on, and I was at a grocery store, and I was like, "Wait, what is going? This is crazy!" I it was, but again, that's our show. You know, you just never know what where the storyline is going to go. You can play something one day and then they can say, we're going to move this way and then say, nope, nope, let's stop the brakes. We're going to, you know, we're going to go for it. We're not going to go. So, um, 
yeah, I think it's like, that's just the golden beautiful. And even though I've been on the show for, oh my God, so many years, it's still so unexpected. Uh, but yeah, I, I was pretty fired up about it. I, um, yeah, it's like, it's so sad. It's awful. It, it was extremely sad. I mean, we love Tanner and it was so sad to see Finn be killed off that way. Um, but it's been amazing yeah. story. Um, and you and you and Kimberlyn. Yeah, she, yeah, she's awesome. It was, it was so much fun to uh, film those scenes. Again, like I said, it's, you know, you want to pump the brakes on, on the whole sin and, and you, well, you want that to keep going forward, but like where it was going, like my heart was breaking. I did not want that, you know, cause I know that the, the viewers love them together I love them together. It was just such a, a, a nice storyline, but it's also fun, you know, playing with Kimberlyn as well, because she's just like so incredible and, um, you know, dear friend off screen. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, yeah, there was like a lot of twists and turns and. Have you, know, you have you, have you talked to Tanner? Yeah, of course I have. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I found out, Homegirl lost her ish, you know. I literally was just like, "What? I did not know this. I did not expect this to happen." Uh, I, I, I just, yeah, my jaw was on the floor. Everyone's hashtag safe fin, hashtag safe fin. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, we trying. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see. All right, so Jackie, you want to get to the phone lines? Yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna. We've got quite a few callers there. It was there. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Say hi to Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. Do you have a question? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I apologize, Casey. I always do this. I have you guys on my phone, too. So, yes, um, Casey, thank you for doing the Bold Live. This is Sam and Jackie. I have a question for you. Yes. How do you feel... Um, being like a, um, you know, your character being a core character, how do you feel about your character not really having a soulmate type character on the show? Um, so, you know, like, of course, we've got Brooke and Ridge and Bill and Katie, and, you know, Steffi has been on for a really long time, and it just doesn't seem like she has her own soulmate to me. I thought that's what Finn was going to be, but we have Finn no more. So um, what's your take on this? Yeah, no, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I thought that when Finn came onto the scene that she finally found her person. Obviously, she has had those feelings for Liam, and she thought Liam was, like, her soulmate for so long. Um, but obviously, his heart is somewhere else. And it is sad because it is kind of the same way for her mother, for Taylor. Like, who is Taylor's soulmate? Is it Ridge? Yes, I guess it is Ridge. But again, he keeps going back to Brooke. So I don't necessarily think it's, yeah, Liam. Uh, she was hoping that it, it was Finn and that Finn would be her forever. Uh, I'm personally, like, I'm okay with it. You know, I think I always have some really cool storylines. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you... You know, it's sometimes it can be difficult, but uh, I think Steffi. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, person. a lot of people would say that Finn was your soulmate. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I say I, I definitely say Finn. So I don't think she hasn't had a soulmate, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. This is going to be a hard one to get over. Yeah, I don't know if. Well, yeah, I was thought Finn was too. Soulmate. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if her. I, right. She cared for him. In the moment, maybe she thought that, but I don't know if that was like her person. But they just, um, yeah, I thought and Steffi. Yeah, they they well, they complimented each other. Damn, I'm gonna have to move on. We got a lot of callers, but thank you for being our first caller. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye bye. All right, uh, go ahead and call that fan line five seven three seven five nine two seven eight. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Casey. It's Michael from Pittsburgh. Michael, say hi to Jackie. Hi. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Very well. Thank you. Oh, some people you think doing? Bill's your soulmate. I knew, that was gonna <laughs> I knew that I was going to comment it too. <laughs> All right, Michael, go ahead. What's, go ahead. Talk to Jackie. 
Jackie, how are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah, I feel really good, good right now. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I love to hear that. Um, yeah. What was it like filming the Ali stuff with Kimberlyn? Uh, it was tough. It was, it was really tough. Um, uh, yeah, we, um, especially while I'm pregnant and, uh, and then Kimberlyn had, you know, some surgery, I think it was like on her ankle. It was months ago, but she's still recovering from that. So the shoves in like positioning and we obviously were very mindful of each other, but, uh, but yeah, they were, it were so tough. It was so tough, especially when, when Finn comes in. I mean, that was just, it, it's, it was really, really emotional. It's, um, you know, I, I, I had my, the opioid storyline and that was like gut wrenching, but this was just like, uh, like for me, another level, because again, I am like a mother and I'm about to have a baby. I already, I have a, a one-year-old and to know that like putting myself in that situation was like extremely difficult, but, um, I'm happy with how it came out. Yeah. Um, I, I think too that they're alluding to the opioids again. Maybe um, it seems to be going that way. So maybe maybe we get to see more of that. Um, I don't know, but um, I, I've loved um, you from the beginning um, when you started as Steffi, and I've always loved Kimberlyn as Casey knows. But um, I just it's so nice to talk to you, and I'm glad that you're feeling well, and and I'm glad that you woke up. Yes, yes, I know. I know, me too. All right, Michael, you have a good weekend. Thank you. Casey. Thank you. Yes, Thank at least you. this week was this was week was good because at least uh, we learned today that Steffi gets to go home from the hospital. But my main question is, while Steffi's been in the hospital, what has Steffi been eating? Because <laughs> there's not been one jello, not one pudding. Uh, you, you barely got some water. I, I, I know that know, is true. That's what true. have you, you? I've been eating nothing. I've been eating nothing. They were, it's yeah. That, you're you're absolutely right. They have not yeah. given me anything. It's what happens between the scenes. <laughs> I, apparently, well, everyone's out in the uh, lobby talking about you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. My name's Gina, and I'm from Frankfurt, New York. And I just Hi, moved Gina. into my two-bedroom apartment, so I'm like really excited oh, nice so awesome congrats I, um, yeah and uh watched uh bold and the beautiful as always and i just been praying for stephanie because you know i couldn't wait for her to wake up and i'm glad that she did so you know it's been a great storyline i don't know how she pulled it off like keeping her eyes closed without you know like laughing or giggling or you know yeah. And to see they're sick, it's like, you know, wow, but I feel bad because you don't regain your memory yet, but I hope you do because I want Sheila to pay for what she did. But my uh, question is, um, um, the baby Hayes that was on there, is that your real child or is that somebody else's baby? And that's That's somebody else's baby. Yeah, the children on the show, they are not mine. They're absolutely adorable. Uh, but no, they are, they're, yeah, and they're not mine. No, no, no. I, my, yeah, if my kids want to get into the industry later on, sure, but I want them to make the choice. <laughs> and I'll, I'll tell you, for you know how they say like people wake up, sometimes they look terrible. It's like with you being sick or no matter, you always look beautiful. And oh, it's like you're that it. girl that everyone wants to be, like the, the color hair, the makeup. It's like you, you try to do it, but then you're like, it's the beauty. Yes, you. Yeah, Thank you. Beauty. Oh. Wow, you're Thank just it's amazing. And you know, I'm not gonna stop watching. So I just can't wait to see what more to come, you know. So Yeah, yeah, keep um, on watching. A lot more to come. Oh yeah. Well, and I'd I'd like to send you a card, you know, for when you have your baby. But how do I do that? Do I send it to Bold Live or Yeah, you can send it to uh Casey. You can yeah, send it, send it to the show. I think moderator David can put the address where you can send it. Oh, yeah, that would be great because I'd like to send you a card. So, and um, good luck you. with having your baby. All right, thank you, thank Gina, you so and uh, congrats on your yeah, apartment. Yeah, yeah congrats every again. Single week, you, probably, you probably recognize her voice. She calls every single week. She doesn't miss a beat. Which is <laughs> <laughs> That's my good friend, Jen. 
Oh, okay. uh, the other Jim. All right. He, <laughs> but thank you for answering my phone. Okay. God bless. Bye bye. God bless. Bye. Have a great weekend. All right. I think she got a twofer there. Knock in there. Hey, hi. Welcome to Bold Life. Say hi to Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. What's your name? Quick question. Are you going to have a gender reveal again? I probably will have another gender reveal. I would feel terrible if I didn't. I don't know if it's going to be as like as extravagant. I'm going to try. It's definitely a, a full house right now. Uh, but I may do it this Gail. weekend or sometime next next week. I don't, you know, especially with a third child, I don't want to be the mom that's like, the third child you just forgot about. So I still, uh, all my my other, you know, my kids on my Instagram, I, it was just so big and extra. So I'm, there'll be, there'll be something for sure. And it'll be soon. Good to hear. Take care. All right. Thank Have a good you. weekend. Bye-bye. Um, yeah, that's exciting. we got a lot to do. Yeah. Before this third child. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Welcome to Bold Life. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Jacarius, and I'm calling from Cleveland, Mississippi. Hi there. How you doing? I'm doing good. So I have two questions for you, Jacqueline. So yes. if you two go with the right room for one day, what storyline you write for Steffi? And also, what was it like? On walking on sea on your first day on the boat of the beautiful. Um, I would say, oh god, I don't know what store. Honestly, I don't, I don't know. But I do. I love when Steffi has a little like pep in her step, and she's a little like sassy and sometimes like a little manipulative. Uh, that's always fun, even though sometimes the viewers, some viewers hate it, you know. But it's always like. When Steffi's a little naughty, that's that's kind of fun for me. I, I don't know what, I've done so many different storylines, so I don't know, I, I couldn't think of one in particular, which I should give that some thought. Um, and my first day on set, yeah, I remember it like it's it was yesterday. And, you know, I, I still, I know it's so cliche, but I really do like, feel like I have to pinch myself sometimes because it's just been such a blast. And my first day, you know, working with Hunter Tylo and Ron Moss, who I love. And I, again, I watched the show. So it was just such a, it was so wonderful. Um, so yeah, sorry. I don't want, I, I hear my children on, on the side. So I'm just like, sorry. Um, but yeah, it really does feel like it was yesterday, which is so, so crazy to me. But uh, yeah, it's amazing when you're, grew up watching the show and you're a fan of the show and then you end up being on the show that you used to watch. It's pretty surreal. I got to think some of those early, mm -hmm. early episodes with, with Steffi and Bill were, were pretty, uh, pretty electric. <laughs> they were, you know, I really, I really enjoyed, I, you know, I love working with Don and it was just something different, you know, it was, he, and again, it's like nobody could break, bill no one could get through to him right and he kind of met his match with steffi and it was cool to because even working with him like we just didn't know where the scene how we were going to play it and it was fun because in rehearsal we would do it one way and then you know say action and we were all we were throwing different you know curveballs at each other which made it really really fun and made us really present in those scenes so uh yeah it was great Mm -hmm. All right, Jakaris. Well, thank you for calling in. Gonna have to have to move right, on. You have a good have weekend. A good all right, bye bye. Thank you. I'm gonna see if I can't um, add somebody. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, um, go ahead and call in, um, David. I'm trying to get in on our Zoom so that I can see if there's any fan questions. So go ahead and let me in there. I finally got my computer up and running. Uh, Jackie, I don't know if you heard. I'm at my high school. You are? I'm at my high school in San Bernardino, California. Um, I'm here Lucky tonight because I'm doing a special performance, and so I didn't want to miss Bold Live, so that's why I'm on the road. But I'm wondering, do you have any special memories from your high school, Jackie? Did you perform in, in plays or anything like that? Not really, no. I... Um... Uh, no, I, I got, I was, I definitely loved, 
I was, you know, I was creative and I, I knew I wanted to get into acting. I was from like a smaller town and it, it, uh, where I was from, it was like really hard to figure how to do that. Uh, so yeah. I kind of started leaning into um, acting and, and really focused on that probably when I was like 18, 19. So later on, oh, okay. but I, okay. But I loved it, but I, I definitely loved it and I appreciated the craft. Uh, but I have a wonderful, you know, memories uh, and my best friends, you know, till this day are like the ones from kindergarten, you know, I was just on the phone with them. Uh, so it's, it's really cool because even though we're all doing different things, like we're all the same, you know, and it's yeah. always so good like being with one another because it's like nothing's changed. And then you realize how immature and ridiculous you are still. Um, but yeah, I, I have good. I have well, I would do anything to see a young Jackie uh, acting. I don't have a video, don't worry, but I would I would love to see. <laughs> I feel like my first, my first commercial, I think I was like, I don't know, maybe it was seven, 18. I don't know, 17, 18. Yeah. Um, and it was like a, it was a first, like a hair, a hair cutters commercial. Like that was like my first thing. And I had like one line, like, I love it. And I really tried to own it. I was right. like, I love it. Oh, yeah, gosh, but, that uh, would be gold. I, I gotta ask your mom I'll find that. that. I can find that. Yes, you know, next time like you come, we need to see Instagram that hair commercial. <laughs> that would be gold. Okay. Oh, 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 I pushed the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Casey. Hi, Jackie. This is Susan Hi. from Las Vegas. So glad I got hey. you again. Yes. Yeah, good, this is like <laughs> the second time we've gotten to speak, but... Now, uh, hey, what month are you due? Are, are you pretty close? Yeah, I, I, I technically could have a baby like today um, or oh in, God. you know, or in like two weeks. You know, it's my, my due date's in like two, two weeks. But, you know, those things are just so like up in the air, you know. Um, yeah. They, yeah. So both of my. Uh, Congratulations. My, my, thank you. Yeah. My two of them, were, they were like two weeks late. So who knows? But oh I feel my. good. But yeah, I could have a baby now or in, yeah, like a few weeks. So, all right. It looks so great. I went, when I was pregnant, you know, I like was big everywhere. I was like a weevil. <laughs> I was so short, you know, and, and, but you look beautiful. You never, you know, but Thank God you. Bless. that's great. And I'm really Thank enjoying you. the Stephanie, uh, the Steffi scenes with uh, Sheila in the room. Oh my God. Crack me up. Every time you're on the verge of saying something, you look over and there's Sheila. What is she doing here? Why I know. Here? I know. That's in between the scenes that we. I was joking about that. Like, what on earth? What are you doing here? She's, she's everywhere. I open my eyes and she's just there. <laughs> there she is. It's great. But you're yeah. doing such a wonderful job. And Casey, I have to crack up every time you show the intersection for the hospital and that black Escalade drives by. Are you ever going <laughs> to update that, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I love you. That is so funny. I've never realized Has that. anyone else noticed that? Am I the only one? Or is that you driving that, Casey? No, I yeah. mean, there's only so many restaurants, so many people, and so many cars in L.A. Yeah. If you, if you do come here, everyone's yeah. driving Range Rovers around. You know what? I'm all out of time. We're going to have to move on. But thank you for calling. Bye, Casey. Bye. Bye, bye. Have a bye. good one. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. Oh, she was getting technical there. That that will be a different I loved it. Oh, same. <laughs> oh, hi. Before I get to you, caller, I would just want to say, Jackie, uh, please turn the computer down. Nay Don says, I'm supposed to be working, but I skipped to see Jackie. So. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Hi there. Oh, that's so, so sweet. And then, of course, of course, a lot of people want to know if you're working or not. Yes, she's working. She's she's a nonstop worker. Nonstop um, work. Nonstop work. Uh, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? G'day, Jackie. It's Marco Polo from Australia. Hi, baby. How are you? Ooh, hi, baby. <laughs> hey, Marco. Hey, Casey. Hey, Jackie. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So to you. It's there's so good a, to chat with you. There's just a delay because Marco is in Australia, so it does take yeah. this. It's yeah. a long way to get back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> what 
my question to you, Jackie, is um, what's your favourite memory um, from when you came to film in Sydney? Is there anything, any experience or anything that happened while you were here that uh, you remember well? I had too many to count. I had way too too many parties in my hotel room with the cast and the crew, <laughs> meeting, um, having you know filming the the wedding uh, at the Sydney Opera House, uh, the shopping. I mean, just I just love it there. We had so so much fun. Uh, we had. Oh my gosh, I remember we had like late night spray tan parties in my room and and like just the most the craziest things but like we we you know really took advantage and we gave it our all when we were filming we just were so like again so present we just loved being there and then even though we'd be filming these long days we just really wanted to take in Australia and just all the just like I said the restaurants the bars we were non-stop non-stop I don't think I don't I probably slept like six hours that entire trip well it was oh, we were well taken <laughs> care of by Australian hospitality it was really we did absolutely really nice. I can't yeah I can't wait uh, Marco did that. you did you come to the fan event that was down there uh, yeah I was there in like almost the back row. So, <laughs> did you come I, to um, both yeah, shows? Yeah, flew up from Melbourne. I was, yeah, that that fan event was um, a lot of fun. Yeah, so fun. um, I only remember there being one show, but um, but anyway, I only went. To no, one. we did. They did two. Um, we had a yeah. Yeah, look, yeah. It, wait, fan show there? Was I there? Uh, yeah, on stage, and then yeah. we had oh, an yeah, intermission yeah. to meet fans, oh, yeah. and then we came we oh, came yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Was, um, we did nonstop. Wow, I yeah, forgot soon, all about that. Is... So now, Marco, get to your get to your question. That that was the question. Oh, that was it? my question. About oh, but Australia. no, you need a question to know about storyline, though. What's happening in the show? Oh, do you want me to ask? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's fine. Don't pressure him. <laughs> All of us want to. All of us want to know is Finn is Finn alive? <laughs> I know, right? Oh my gosh! Oh, like why did we just? I get it. I'm with you. I'm asking the same question. Oh, Casey. Yeah. Well, I'm Marco, away. we're all out of I'm time. Away. Got to move along. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're like, ask your question. To just I know, but Marco down. has got. Okay. He he recently put out a tweet with all these, uh, like. He's like Sherlock Holmes. Well, you need somebody like He's the Sherlock like. Holmes of daytime. Good. I love that. All right. Marco, <laughs> always a pleasure. Thank you for calling. Thanks, Marco. Bye. Take care. Bye. I know. Some people just can't come to grips. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. All right. Oh, I got lots of questions over here. Uh, all right. Hey, hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Tammy, and I'm from Las Vegas. Hi. Jackie loves Las Vegas. I do. Soon <laughs> enough, I'll be back. <laughs> Jackie, this is my second time talking to you. I got to talk to you the first time you were on Bold Live. Yes. Awesome. Glad to be chatting with you again. Yeah. Nice. You're, you're my favorite. Absolutely love you. I have a question and a comment. I love the scenes between you and Scott Clifton. I'm a huge Steam fan. And nice. I, I just want to say that you deserve a third Emmy because you are knocking it out of the park. You are awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I really, really appreciate it. Like, I, I yeah, it was this storyline's been, yeah, it's been really tough because it's just, oh my gosh, gut wrenching. It's, gut -wrenching. Been, it's, been, it's been tough on us. Steffi fans, because we've had our Kleenex for the past uh, like three You know, weeks. it kills me. I was just, I think about, you know, and they, like Hayes and and then Hayes grows up without his little dad and have not even having any memory of him. You know, that's just breaks your heart. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. extremely difficult. I, I feel to navigate. for Steffi. I, I mean, I yeah, Steffi same. to be happy because I'm tired of her always being sad and losing all the time. It's just heartbreaking for us Steffi fans. I know, I know. I, I'm with you. There, we, you know, we need a moment of Steffi to be just like happy again. And yeah, 
it's really sad right now. I'm sorry, guys. But Steffi has had her. It's okay. Steffi has had. <laughs> but you are awesome. Thank you. So Steffi's much. had good moments too. I mean, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, uh, she's but... had some good moments. She's had she's her setbacks, but she co overcomes because she's Steffi. She does. So. Yeah. Yeah, because she's strong and and, and she we are she always we does. love Steffi. We'll support her and she falls, she gets back up. We're gonna always. help her get through this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm Steffi fan for life. I love Steffi. That's oh, awesome. Good to well, thank you so much for calling, Tammy. Thank you. We'll nice have a good weekend. With you again. I mean, the other big question is when will there be a funeral for Finn? I have so many questions. Yeah. So many questions. I love I your mean, Casey. Have you, I mean, have you, no, I mean, you, you haven't even seen, because you, since you've woken up, you haven't seen um, Lee. No. Or, or, or um, Jack. Yeah. No. Steffi's like slowly putting the pieces, if that, I don't, you know, I don't think she's. But I'll tell you, I like, it's, I cried on Wednesday when they told Aww. you the truth about Finn, like that was gut wrenching. And then Ugh. I cried today when, when you had Hayes on your lap and you, you know, that was so sweet. That was, oh gosh, it was, yeah. It was how so fun, how, I mean, it must've been difficult working and just lying there for weeks. Right? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I live my best life. Okay. I don't sleep because I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old and I'm pregnant, so like, <laughs> See, sometimes it has its perks. Like, there's moments where there was actually a moment where, like, I, 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 when I did hear I was like going into a coma or something, I, I thought, oh my God, I actually get to sleep. This is so exciting. And what? I did. I fell asleep. I fell asleep in the scene. And I woke up and the cameras were gone. Everyone left. They're like, oh, we just, you just, you look so peaceful. So we didn't want to wake you. Peaceful and cozy. We didn't want to wake you. So. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't sleep. So yeah, right now it's like I took advantage of that. It was so nice. <laughs> uh, a lot of people bawled their eyes out on Wednesday. I'm seeing that people are so. That's a credit to you. And also, just another thing, uh, the Emmy nominations come out May 5th, but Jackie did not submit this year. I did not submit this year. So no. don't be angry when she doesn't get nominated. Yeah, no, I no, I did not. I did not submit. I didn't. It wasn't like it's just. Um, but next year. Yeah, maybe, next yeah, year. Yeah, next year. Like it just, I you know, I'm just not the kind of girl that's like I need to submit every single year. Like there was great storyline yet last year, but I just didn't feel as though, you know, I like yeah. I think I just had then my that's baby. Fine. That's fine. That's diving into anything crazy. I know. Sorry. Exactly. A lot of people are in shock, but next I know. year. Well, I couldn't, There, I didn't know what storyline, like I was trying to, y'all tell me a storyline. <laughs> like I didn't know, like every, I worked a lot and yeah. there was some great stuff, but uh, it just, I don't feel as like, you know, um, not that I couldn't sink my teeth into, cause there was definitely stuff, but it just wasn't as like, you know. Yeah, but this time of, next you year know. you'll be nominated yeah. and you can bring home that third Emmy for your third baby, so. <laughs> the third baby's not getting an Emmy. We'll just what? lie. We'll just what? say. Because <laughs> every time I have a baby, I <laughs> All right. We're running out. Of, we're getting we're getting towards the end of the show, but we got a lot of callers, so we're going to do this fast. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Melissa from Hopeful, New York. How are you doing, Casey? Hi, Jackie. Congratulations Hi. on getting number three. No, thank uh, you I so much. I spoke to you a few months ago, uh, but it was so noisy that you could hardly hear me at the, in the restaurant there. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh, yeah, but it was great talking to you. Either way, uh, nonetheless, um, my question is: um, How do you think Steffi's going to really react when she finds when she gets her memory back about Sheila? Like, do you think she's really going to attack Sheila, or? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how she would react. I just, I feel like she'd be you know, mama bear and just doing whatever, she, you know, it's kind of like all the times that she said, Sheila is not, you know, she, it, all the things that, that 
that Sheila has done over the years. So I think it just for there was months where Steffi just kept saying like Sheila, sorry, my dog's just making all this going still. <laughs> um, you know, that Sheila was dangerous and she couldn't be trusted. Um, so I think it would just kind of, yeah, yeah, she would uh, be extremely angry and maybe just, I don't know. I, I, maybe I she, think maybe Steffi would try to murder Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's hope yeah, she gets her I, I feel bad back. for Taylor because she's getting so close to Sheila and she just saved her life and all that. I know. Like, oh my God. Oh my gosh. We had uh, Krista on uh, two weeks ago and a lot of fans want Shayler. Have you heard about this, Jackie? Shayler? Yeah, that's Sheila and Taylor. Hey now. I yeah. Mean... <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. That, that was trending. <laughs> Hashtag Shayler. I did catch a yeah. vibe, so... Well, I was like, Let's you're, you're doing so Mom great Sheila. right now. I, I was crying on Wednesday, so all the all the scenes are wonderful. I, I, I'm so mad about Finn right now, but all the scenes are wonderful. I know, I know. Me too. All right, thank well, you thank, so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Move right along. <laughs> Tammy Nelson's been crying since the storyline started. Hi, um, welcome to Bold and Beautiful or Bold Live. Uh, say hi to Jackie. Hey, Casey. Hi, Jackie. This is Mel from hey. New York City. Hi there. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, Jack, first off, I, um, Jackie, I love, love, love your Instagram. I love the music. I mean, your Instagram, oh. Instagram is so cool. I love it. And Thank I've been you. a fan of yours since. You're welcome. I mean, you know what's so funny? I think because you're so, you know, drop dead gorgeous, beautiful, you'd be like, okay, I'm going to go to Instagram. But you're so real, like a very, you know, very real. I love the music. So I'm like, okay, this lady. <laughs> So love the Instagram. Thank you. Yeah, it's a fun little creative outlet. I, you know, it's it's nice to be able to like reach out and it's just everything's kind of like one click away. So thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Yes, very cool. But I wanted to say too, I you've been work since the day you got there. I've been a, a Steffi fan since day one. I don't even think Steffi has ever done anything wrong. You know, so I think that's just how I am. I love Steffi. I'm not afraid for Steffi because Steffi is, is so fears that I think that Sheila should be scared. I mean, it's a Baron. She's going to be like Sarah Connor from the Terminator. She's going to be going after her. <laughs> Both Baron. I think that Sheila should be very scared because Steffi's no joke. But my question for you is that um, because of your past history with horror um, and uh, Final Fan uh, Final Destination, when you had to do those scenes that was very scary in the alley, um, it was very powerful, did you sort of call upon some of your uh, past uh, horror experience, you know, that you had you a wonderful <laughs> horror film, you know, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm the kind of person that wh when I'm in, when I, I, I'm playing that part or I'm in that scene that I really put myself into that moment. Like the, like I said, with the opioid addiction, it wasn't just something like, I can't just fake the tears. I can't, uh, it's, it really, I, I, I just take that second, even though we film so quickly, um, to really put myself in that situation. And, you know, there was just so many thoughts and all of those things. I wasn't necessarily thinking about final destination. That's actually really, I, I should have, uh, but yeah, I just, I, I put myself in, um, the situation of, you know, people who have been in this and how terrifying it is and, uh, to have a gun put up, to, you know, put directly to their face to mm -hmm. seize. The, their loved one gone. I mean, that alone. And there would be just certain lines and certain things that would just catch me. And yeah, so there's, again, being pregnant, yeah. very mindful and protective of my baby. Uh, and uh, yeah, keeping the energy more up here as opposed to, you know, with my baby. But but yeah, I, I, I can't not like fake it. I mean, it's just, it's, you you hear these things that happen in the world and I, I mean, my heart goes mm -hmm. out to so that's why well, I want, it made it easier for me. Well, I want to say I thank you for letting me get through. I love you, love you, love your Instagram, love Steffi. And again, Steffi is showing the audience with the opioid last year, you know, with the opioid thing. And now, of course, we can't go too detailed, but you just, you're absolutely right with what's going on in the country. Steffi, our girls got so victim to what's also been happening around. So it's just like you always, the character's always like on the front lines. Of what's happening yep. in the real world. So I love Steffi. I love her. Love you. Love the Instagram. Love everything. Love you back. That's All awesome. right. Thank That's you, Mel. Have a good weekend. Thank you so much. So nice chatting with Thank you. Thank you. You know, I um, normally have my computer on this side of me, but I thought I would change it up and put my computer over here so I can look at things. And it just looks, 
it, the, the, the camera's weird because now I'm looking at myself on YouTube and it just looks like I'm looking at you when I go this way. It's, it's really quite, it's really quite creepy. So I, I'm going to put my computer back on the other side next time. Um, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Oh, hi, Jackie. How are you? I'm very well. How you doing? I'm good. Um, before I say anything, I wanted to let you know that my mother and I, we both watch your show. We love your character. And she wanted me to tell you, because I told her that I was talking to you today, that she thinks you're pretty and good luck on your baby. Oh, thank you. Tell her thank you very much. That's very, very kind. Thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. Oh, my name is Maisha Clarissa. I'm a huge Steffi fan. I have a YouTube page dedicated to her and Liam. Oh, oh. nice. Oh, awesome. What's it? What is it? It's called Maisha Clarissa after me. Oh, okay. Well, we'll be sure to check that out. Thank you so much. Um, gosh, what was I going to say? Um, Well, that's okay. I have a question to ask it's totally you. fine. Oh my gosh, you don't even have a question. It's, it's, it's totally fine. How long fine. have you been watching The Bold and Beautiful? Um, for, since 2001. Okay, very cool. So were you, so, so you've, you've, oh, seen, sorry, you've seen Jackie from day one when she started on the show. It was interesting. I just came across Jackie's uh, talent test, screen test. I'm not going to play it. She, I promised I wouldn't play it, but um, it's pretty interesting that you were, did a camera test with um, Texas Battle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love Texas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Texas is awesome. I re like that was, oh my God, that was such a, a blur. I you mean, know, you all remember Steffi's first like uh, relationship on the show was with Marcus. Yeah. That was, yeah. I, oh my yeah. gosh. And I haven't talked to him in a minute. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was so, that was awesome. That was so much fun. And we were doing all those remotes. And I remember we were filming in like Malibu and yeah. That was a good yeah. Time. And then, then uh, Steffi got involved with Rick. Oh God, that was a hot Wow. Mess. That was crazy. All right. Well, no thank you. Thank Lowry. you for He's calling great, in. <laughs> thank you. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, I got to move. I'm running out of time. Okay. Gosh. All right. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Casey. This is Jeff from Seaside, Oregon. And I wanted to say hello to uh, both of you. And I've got a quick question. Yeah. Go for it. Are you able to? Oh, okay. So I was Jackie. I, I've seen you since the very first time you were on the Bold and, and the Beautiful, and I was just curious. Can you tell me what it was like working with um, Susan Flannery? Oh my goodness, she's a riot. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was in pretty insane because again, I watched the show growing up, so I knew who she was, and, and it sure. was yeah, extremely nervous. Um, because she is just a force, but her and I just got on so well, so well. It just felt like oddly, she just felt like family to me, it was just really, really yeah. easy. Although, yeah, yeah she just she has some sass, and it was, and you want to be on your game with her, like you want to know your lines, you want to be ready. <laughs> so, I remember just being like so terrified. There was like one line I couldn't, like, I couldn't remember for the life of me, and it was so simple, but I was so nervous. Um, yeah, because I was just obviously such a, a fan of hers. But um, but yeah, she's just she's incredible. I've had a lot of good times with with Susan. I mean, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> Susan, Susan, those scenes with with Stephanie and Steffi and Susan and you like really set the tone for your character too. I mean, it really yeah. kinda, like gave you the, your foundation for your sass that you talked about. Like, absolutely, to go absolutely. toe to toe with Brooke in Hope. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes, it was absolutely. It was so fun. So fun with her. Well, well, I know you have other callers. I don't want to keep you. So I appreciate your time and letting me speak to you. Oh, lovely to chat to you. All right. Thanks for calling. Thank guys. you. Keep up the great work. You bet. All right. Thanks I know. So much. And I've teased that Susan's going to be on Bold Live. We are trying to coordinate that. 
And I'd love, I'd love you to come back too when, when Susan comes on. Oh yeah. Hi. Okay. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I am Jamisha from Columbia, South Carolina. And I just want to say I'm throwing flowers at you, Jackie, because these things have been fantastic. Your acting has been above reproach. I just cannot get over how I literally was on vacation in Vegas watching this and crying my eyes out. <laughs> I was having fun. I, oh, my I'm God. proud. Thank you so much. I, I really, really do appreciate that. Like, it's just very yeah. tough to film, very tough to say the least. Yes, you are in your acting bag. You are in your bag. And the only question I actually have is, are you changing your hair color again? Maybe I should. I <laughs> I should do something. <laughs> Usually when something like bad happens, she switches it up. But no, right now I'm like, I mean, I'm really not doing much. My hair's like a little, in, my hair's actually lighter. So I darken my hair. Um, but, you know, with the baby right now, I'm not really doing, this is what you're going to get. We're going to get this with a flip. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for calling. That is perfectly fine. Thank you so much. You have a great day. All right. Just some comments. I, I can't call people's names out particularly, but a lot of people are wanting to know. They want more of an investigation on the shooting. And I don't disagree. I mean, there was a, a, a murder, a double shooting. And like, I, I'm upset that Bill isn't all over this. And like, we finally just saw Bill uh, this week show up at the hospital. I know. I, I, I know. I, I think there's... Yeah, there's a lot we need to figure out. There's yeah, a lot. There's there there is there is a lot. There's a lot of questions and yeah. um, um, people. Oh my, my dog! Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> um, I'm just reading here. Uh, yeah, so they want to know where Bill is, and a lot of people are still thinking maybe Kelly is Bill's. Uh. You never know. Again, the way we have been shooting this storyline and where things were going, I was completely shocked. So honestly, if, if that were to happen, I, I don't know. I'd say, yeah, of course, because I didn't expect this to happen. And uh, our savvy fans will recognize that uh, we recast Kelly. There is a new actress, a young yeah. girl playing Kelly. Uh, she seemed to be super sweet. Oh, she's great. Oh my gosh, she's wonderful. You know, it's I, kudos to these kids that can just get on our show and rock all these lines and yeah. just do it, you know, I because I, I definitely could not be doing that at that age. Oh, no way. I'd be like up climbing a tree and I don't know, by the river. Right. I, um, <laughs> like, I, I, didn't, I could not be doing that. But she's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's been so great to work with her. Well, I'm going to dip into the phone line one more time and see who we've got. One afternoon. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Casey. Hi, Jacqueline. Rebecca from San Clemente. I can't find a better way to end the show than with Rebecca from San Clemente. Hi, Take it away, you. Rebecca. All right. How are you? Very well. Thank you. You're totally glowing. You're going to have that baby pretty soon. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I know. I, I don't. I honestly, I wish I like knew when. But I, yeah, even with my third, I'm like, I don't know when I'm going to have it. Yeah, just we'll see. But thank you. Yeah, I feel I feel good. I feel good right now. So which is nice. Do you ever get any bad morning sickness with all these kids or? Not well, not first trimester is always like a little um, weird. Um, but my mom was kind of the same like way with me. She didn't really get much like morning sickness. So, um, oh, you're lucky. No, no, no. yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been lucky, you know, but, uh, but yeah, there's like, there's days, you know, days that you're, you feel good and days that you don't mm -hmm. hashtag life, pregnancy life. It just is what it is. Well, Rebecca, well, thank you for see. calling. What can I ask you since oh. I've asked you everything before, um, in all the years of playing Steffi, can you relate to her at all in real life? You know, I can relate like her strength. I, I, I do mm -hmm. feel like I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm a strong woman. And I think she is as well. Like when she falls, she gets back up and 
that's like me. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's, yeah, there are some similarities, um, but, and she's, I think Steffi is loyal. Um, I don't know if her, like, relate, we're not talking relationship, yeah. but she seems like a, a real girl. Like, if she's your friend, then she is your friend. Like, you don't want her on the other side. Like, I mm -hmm. feel like I'm a very loyal, I'm a, a, a extremely loyal friend. Like, I know I'm a really good friend. So I think that Steffi would be, uh, if she had, like, more friends. <laughs> that would be great. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, there are, like, there, yeah, there's times where I, I just see there's so many, um, like, being manipulative mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. That's just not who I am. And I always say like when people meet me, it's kind of like what you see is what you get. But I also feel like maybe that's because I've got to play this like fun, manipulative, like emotional character. So in my everyday life, I'm pretty like Zen and relaxed. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. like I definitely say that, you know, it's our strength, our, our, our strength is and a little bit of sass. That's in my life oh, too. So nice to talk <laughs> but, to you again. And um, you're doing a fabulous good. job with these scenes. Thank, thank you. I, I really do appreciate that. They've been you. They've good been luck with the baby. Okay, I love you guys. Thank Feel better, you. Casey. Bye bye. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, you got sweet. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to close the phone line. Um, I just, I don't, I can't leave this without recapping. So we just want to know: Is Finn alive? Is Doctor Finn alive? We don't know. No. Okay. Um, we need a better investigation. When are you yeah. getting your memory back? We don't know. And um, we don't know when you're going on maternity leave. We have a lot of unanswered questions here. I know. Sorry, uh, guys. Yeah. Really. But what I want to know is, okay, this is a little bit fun. So uh, if you follow Jackie on her Instagram, you'll know that she went to, a few weekends ago, she went to the Coachella Music Festival. So I did. was that kind of like uh, your uh, baby moon with your husband? I mean, I guess I, I, guess I was supposed to go to Stagecoach this weekend. Oh. Close. I really wanted to go, uh, but I could be pushing it, and I could have a, end up having a baby. Although I could have had a baby last I, weekend too. Uh, I would have named the baby like Coachella or something. <laughs> no, it was. It, I think you have like your, your baby moon is at the beginning. I think. Oh, or okay. Like, I'm, not the, no, not the beginning. Like the end of your second trimester, or like when you can't, you know. Uh, okay. I don't know. Someone else will explain it, but. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. It was, I had a great, I had a great time. I went with my husband. I went with a few of my friends. Um, yeah, saw a lot of performers, you name it. I was there, saw it, danced, and just had a really, really good time. It, it was really, like, really, really, yeah. Well, yeah, I really enjoyed it. We, we live vicariously through you. So thank you for uh, doing that because I, I've never been and uh, I don't know. I don't know. Next, I'm going to Stagecoach. That's, that'll be the next one. Maybe next year for me. That I'd sounds awesome. Go. Well, Jackie, I'm gonna, uh, I want to wrap this up with our fan roll call. This is the opportunity where we say hi, to all, hi and bye to all the fans. So um, if oh, yeah. you're on the chat, start typing your name. And then Jackie is going <laughs> to just say your name. And uh, we're going to close out the show. So uh, hit it. Let's okay, see. So, oh, and so, Bubbles, Bubbles uh, says hello. I tried to get Bubbles on the show. We had a bad connection. So Bubbles next week. Oh. Sorry, Bubbles. Hi, Shaniqua. Hi, Nick. Hi, Lisa. Ronald. Kenneth. Cheryl. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Lily Bell. Michael. Thomas. Kenneth. You're making a pregnant woman do this. Is like, I swear this is going to get me, put me in labor because it's okay, just Okay, so well, then we'll... <laughs> yes, Then so just say hi to everybody. Tony, Mark. Anna. Uh, Lisa B, Lynn, Daniel, Renee, Kelsey, Nicole, Jennifer. Bianca, An Angelica, Angelica, uh, Island Diamond, Kimberlyn. Whew, All right, okay. time. All right, good. <laughs> All right. Me Jackie, thank you so much. Uh, have thank a, you. Have a good weekend. And um, I just like, it's so great to see the support from the Sin fans and the yeah, Steve fans. I and I the know, still fans. You have yes. like so many passionate fan groups. We should do a poll. You should put a poll up. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. No, no, no. No. Why? I'm not. Mm. No, they're, they're all equally amazing. We love they all our fans. They are equally amazing. We should put a poll I've done this show long enough to know that I love all the fan groups. I love, I'm a still, Steam, and Sin. Am I missing any? No, I think that's it. 
was there like Soliver or something when when Steffi was with Oliver? Is is there is there is that a group? Bored over it. Moving on. I don't remember. That's like literally was such a blank. Strick. I don't. Strick. I don't know. Strick. Strick was. That's. I don't know. That was fun working with him, but also the storyline was like so. A little too close to home with family. You think? Yeah. And then there was that guy. Oh, that came oh my on, goodness! That guy from don't, Europe or whatever. Then there's um. Well, what do you, what was Wyatt and Steffi? Oh yeah, what about him? Sorry, yeah, no, <laughs> I love that. I love Steffi. I and love Wyatt. them together too. That was so I, cool. I, I totally Anybody you're with is that. is good. Oh, Strat, Stat, Stat. Stat, Stat is who? You and Wyatt. Oh, Stat, Stat, Stat. Yeah. Oh, Stat. Yeah, you're right. Stat, wow. Stat, 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 Stat. That's what it's. Um, Actually, funny story before you go. I remember when I had filmed my wedding that day at the beach. I remember it was like, it was so hot and I was in that tight dress. I don't know if I got like sunstroke or whatever it was, but I was like nauseous and I threw up and then we still had to film and we had to do that picnic scene. And it was like the scene where like Darren's like feeding me food in my, and I, and I was like, oh. just... Anyways, thought you guys all should know that, but I remember that. No, I, I was, I remember day. that day too. And, and here's a strawberry and I'm like, oh my God. And I'd have to like chew it just because we needed to get the shot. I remember that um, wedding day like too. felt like a scene from Bridesmaids, like just trying to, yeah, it was a. I had no idea that. Um, yeah, it was like nauseous that day. Well, yeah. And then I had to like keep eating the food and gosh. it was. That was such a pretty yeah. wedding on the beach in Malibu. And like it everybody was, it was there. It was a beautiful day up until like, the, it was just like that tight dress. Mm. And the heat. And then I had to film all those. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And we had to, like, and walk it, down a hill to the beach. It was. Yeah, like, we did involved. so much walking. And, and then it was, like, emotional. Gosh, you've had so many epic, beautiful weddings. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh, we, we had some amazing weddings. Yeah. That's why I, I didn't have a wedding, in, like, a real wedding in my real life. Because I just didn't want one. I've had so many. No shade to my husband. I love him dearly, but <laughs> I just didn't want it. I had so many incredible weddings on the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. It's, there's some tea for everybody. <laughs> well, okay. Well, we're on, well, we're we're praying and uh, for uh, uh, for you for baby number three, and uh, thank you for amazing week. Not just an amazing week, but for an amazing. What is this? Uh, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen years. The Bold and the Beautiful? I think so. Yeah. yeah. 14 years. Wow. Goes by like that. It does go by like that, but I appreciate every little moment of it. Absolutely. All right. Anyway, well. I didn't bark, but she's Okay. We're going to let you go. Bye, off. Jackie. Have a wonderful <laughs> okay. weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. Well, there you have it. Thank you, everybody. That was a fun. I mean, she makes it easy, right? And you guys make it easy, too. You guys had great questions calling in and all your comments. You made this a lot of fun. And, um, I mean, it would be awesome if we could have Jackie on every week, right? That would be so much fun. Even just if, even if it was just for, like, two minutes. Um, we're so lucky to uh, have her here. And, yeah, she will eventually be going on maternity leave. And um, we... It, it, it'll be it'll be sad at the studio, but we're happy for her and she'll be back and we'll have more exciting stuff. But I can't give anything away because some of you are very um, perceptive on clues and things. And you know, you'll try to do the math when Jackie's not going to be here and what's going to happen in the storyline. And I can't really say, oh, Lacey, thanks. Thank you. Uh, yes, I got a new haircut. This I I. Um, I know. I wish I could keep it cut like this all the time. That's very, thank you, Lacey. I'm reading some of your questions here and I wish I could have got to some more of it, but I mean, it went by so fast, went by so fast. So I'm going to end bold live. Um, but I'm going to go over to my Instagram. I'm going to put this up here. Um, you can go over to my Instagram at Casey Cass, uh, about three minutes after this show ends. And, uh, I'm going to kind of wrap up the bold and beautiful and just kind of talk about I don't know what's going on in my life, what's going on on in a, a television, entertainment, and uh, have some more fun over there. But I always enjoy this time together. It went by super fast. My apologies to Bubbles. I'm sorry we couldn't get the connection working, but uh, next week I'll, we're going to figure this out and we'll have you back, Bubbles. Um, so with that, um, I'm going to wrap up here from my high school and remind you all to be bold, be beautiful. 
and be back next week when we'll have an all new guest here on Bold Live. Keep watching. And uh, Wednesday, we have an unexpected romance appearing on Bold and Beautiful. So that's it. That's it, Katie.